2012 was the year of the happening, in the sense that a lot of people, whether it be libertarians or reactionaries, including me, we were all sold on the idea that the happening was going to happen come four years. Gradually, people are starting to divorce themselves from that idea. Gradually, we've seen gold and silver drop in value. Gradually, people like me that used to make videos about a post-happening world, we're talking about our ships. We know that there's going to be more protected groups. History is going to continue to look at these people as underdogs and celebrate their victories. That they have given themselves the right to write because they've succeeded. Victor's justice will continue to prevail. And nothing's going to change. We're going to see things degenerate further in value, in structure. The system is going to continue. What's happening isn't going to happen. And that renders all my videos from 2012 obsolete. Just like not being an ANCAP anymore renders all my videos from 2011 obsolete. And of course, most of 2012 too. And it's an interesting conundrum because I'm saying all of that I'm not going to do a damn thing about it, because, let's be honest, I have fun saying everything I said, and there ain't a damn thing that's going to make me shut my mouth. But without a doubt, you have to take into account things that have changed, because people have realized that 2016, 2018, there ain't gonna be no happening. We're two years away. Where's it at? You get the Federal Reserve sucks. You get that we're drowning in debt. You get that resources are scarce. We get the peak oil, doom, doom, doom nonsense. But it doesn't mean a damn thing. Because ultimately, the victors decide whether or not the status quo changes, whether or not we start to make a change, or whether or not a happening happens. And there ain't a damn thing that's happening. I'm starting to look at things without a lens of hype. I'm tired of being the hype guy. I'm tired of falling for the hype. The hype pisses me off. I don't want to believe in it anymore. And I don't want to continue to jump into another bandwagon. Because bandwagons suck. You see the people that keep falling for bandwagons. They're stupid people. I've spoken to people that follow any kind of bandwagon. Sports, television. They like something when it seems cool and edgy, but then when they realize the underlying faults, they completely disregard it. These people, while they seem like dynamic people on a short-term basis, on the long run, they're what keeps the status quo. Compliance and 
being naive, we are the heroes of the status quo. We champion lost causes ultimately to benefit the greatest cause of them all. There's no one we should blame but ourselves for that. This is Mr. Wonka 7, suck my dick.